Some vaccines are sensitive to freezing. Once they have frozen, they should not be used. Fortunately, there is a way to tell if a freeze-sensitive vaccine has been damaged by exposure to temperatures below zero degrees Celsius. The shake test. This test should be done any time a freeze indicator is activated or when temperature recordings show negative temperatures. Here are the main steps of a shake test. The vial you suspect was frozen is your test vial. Find a vial of the same type, manufacturer, and batch number as the vial you want to test. Clearly mark the vial frozen. This is your control vial. Place the vial in a freezer or the freezing compartment of a refrigerator. Leave overnight or at least 10 hours at negative 10 degrees Celsius until the contents are completely solid. Remove the control vial and let it thaw. Do not heat it. Take your test vial from the batch that you suspect has been frozen. Hold the control vial and the test vial together in one hand. Shake both valves vigorously for 10 to 15 seconds. Now, place both files on a flat surface side by side and closely observe the contents against the light. Watch and compare the rate at which the sediments settle in the two vials. This shows two possible outcomes of the shake test. The center vial is the control vial that was deliberately frozen. The ones on the left and right are test vials. The shake test takes a few minutes, but we will speed it up to show the results faster. The vaccine in the control vial that you froze will form tiny flakes of sediment that quickly settle at the bottom of the vial. The vaccine will look almost clear. If the sediment in the test vial settles at the same speed or faster than sediment in the control vial, the vaccine is damaged. If the sediment in the test vial settles slower than the sediment in the control vial, you can conclude the test vial has not been frozen and is safe to use. Vaccines that have not been damaged by freezing look cloudy. If you conclude the test vial has not been frozen, return it to the refrigerator. If the vaccine is damaged, notify your supervisor. Set aside all affected vaccine in a container marked damaged vaccine for disposal, do not use. When you have received permission, discard all the affected vaccine. Finally, complete a loss adjustment form. If more than one batch of vaccines is suspect, this process should be repeated with every batch. Next time you suspect a vaccine has been frozen, perform a shake test and know for sure.